most of the time now when I take a ballet class, it's a class that I'm teaching for myself. And I feel like I've gotten much better over the pandemic at like reconfiguring exor ballet exercises, figuring out how can we, how can we make this class make sense for bodies of, uh, for a larger range of ages, yeah. let's say, because, yeah. you know, so many people teaching ballet are people who stopped dancing when they were 35 and have had two hip replacements and they're asking for these things that are ridiculous and it's like they are living proof that these things should not be done in this way. And it, even just the way, like the order of things in the, in the class, the bar was supposed to be a warm up for larger things, but now the whole class is a show. And we start out with grand plies, like the, the most knee flexion, the most stressful thing for your hips, your knees, your quads, everything. That is the first thing that happens in a ballet class. It's like, but why does it have to be like that? What if we did, we can do that, but we can do that later after we've done smaller, more circular movements that don't uh, ask us to go you know, to our full range. I did, I did one time. of your ballet classes and it, it felt like I got to be sort of an exotic worm before doing it. <laughs> I, I was like, how great to just warm up the spine and before we go into these big movements. You know, I was teaching kids in a summer intensive earlier this week and kind of struggling to teach them something about like going to the floor and internally rotating your shoulder. And I was like, I was looking at them like they're like clunking down to the floor. Like do you, th that can't feel good. Like you must realize that something is wrong. And I, I stopped the music and I was like, so can somebody tell me where they feel uncomfortable? Like, where do you know that you don't know what to do with your arms? And we'll, we'll address that. And they're just like looking at me like, I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, and just like, I realized that even that idea that something should feel like it, should feel congruent with the way that your body works is not um, obvious, especially to ballet trained dancers. It's, it's the mentality is a lot of times more like, I, I have to do this thing that's asked of me. And if mm. I, if I do what's asked of me, then I'm a good dancer. And it's like, no, it should like, where, where does it feel like it should go next? You so know, like there, you, there you are being momentum. the, the Feldenkrais uh, choreographer. <laughs> like, Asking questions, um, like yeah, it's like leading, where should it go? It. Right. Yeah. Changing the hierarchy. Right. Yeah. It gives. You know? It's. I like to sit. I like to sit on the floor too, rather than you know up on a chair. Like I make myself pretty small, and they're taller than me, and so I think that's another sort of subconscious um, way of empowering dancers. You know, the small person down on the floor is asking them, "Well, which way are you falling? Which way?" What would the what would be the easiest thing, the natural thing to move next? Mm -hmm.